You know, this is how you know how people really feel about you. And uh, it gives you, the, gives me at least, the kind of thought process of what kind of energy would even do something this uh, morbid. What kind of, uh, at some point, we have to start calling out behavior that's not human as, like, not human behavior. Um, your humanity is gone. So good morning, good afternoon, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on. I want y'all to listen to this um, story from Vanessa Bryant because she testified that she got rest in peace, Colby. Oh, my notifications on her phone. Well, before she she was even told that he died. She also said that the uh, sheriff assured her that the um, the crash site, the helicopter crash site, would be kept private, and that she didn't have to worry about, you know, anything. Uh, Mom, and let me go ahead into this story because this is just so insulting to me. You know, Vanessa Bryant was deposed in her lawsuit against Los Angeles County. She is suing the county for invasion of her privacy over crash site photos of the bodies. Testimony reveals details of the day of the fatal crash on January 26, 2020. An assistant initially told her there were five survivors, which wasn't true. Uh, Vanessa held out hope for hours that Kobe and their daughter had survived simply because she said she had been told that. Tried to take a helicopter to the crash scene, but was told the weather wouldn't allow her to do that. NBA star Kobe, uh, uh, star's wife, widow Vanessa, she revealed that in a sworn statement that how she learned about the helicopter crash that killed him and Gianna, as well as other details from that tragic day that have never been made public before. Vanessa recounted the fateful events of January 26, 2020 in a deposition for her lawsuit against Los Angeles County, which she's suing over claims the deputies shared gruesome crash scene photos with each other and to a bartender. You know, I don't know what kind of people you are that did that. And you should be, in my opinion, fired. You shouldn't even be allowed to work. You're morbid. Something is wrong with your stinking thinking. She said in the deposition that L.A. Sheriff Alex Villanueva vowed to keep the crash scene private moments after informing her that Kobe and Gianna were dead. And that she deduce the grim condition of their bodies when she recovered the clothes they had been wearing. Under questioning from a county attorney, Vanessa says she first learned of the crash, which occurred about 9.45 a.m. when her assistant knocked on the door about 11.30 and told her there had been a crash. She told me that there was an incident and that there were five survivors. Vanessa testified from Newport Beach over Zoom on October 12th. According to a transcript obtained by USA Today, um, she also said that um, I asked her if Gianna and Kobe were okay, and she said she wasn't sure. She didn't know. Hearing that there were survivors, which turned out to not be true, as all nine people aboard were killed instantly on impact, Vanessa said she initially assumed Gianna and Kobe had survived. But as she tried in vain to call Kobe, notifications began to pop up on her phone, sharing condolences for Kobe's death. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I'm so sorry, Vanessa.
I was trying to call my husband back. All these notifications started popping up on my phone saying, R.I.P. Kobe, R.I.P. Kobe. Uh, it was hours later before Vanessa Lee officially learned from the sheriff that Kobe 41 and Gianna 13 had perished in the crash. She said she rushed to an airport to try to take a helicopter to the crash scene, but the toll was told that the weather conditions were too bad to permit a flight. Vanessa also revealed that she recovered the clothes of Gianna and Kobe wore during the crash and out of concern that someone would take pictures of them. They suffered a lot, Brian said, during the deposition. And if their clothes represent the conditions of their bodies, I cannot imagine how someone could be so callous and have no regard for them or their friends and just share the images as if they were animals on the street. I, I You know what? I, I agree. I agree. The impact of the helicopter crash was so damaging, I just don't understand how someone can have no regard for life and compassion and instead choose to take that opportunity to photograph lifeless and helpless individuals for their own sick amusement. It's a mindset, y'all. You know, some of these narcissistic personality disorder people are in positions that they really shouldn't be in because they have severe personality disorders. A, a charter helicopter was carrying Kobe, Gianna, and other youth basketball players, because y'all know from Orange County to Thousand Oaks, when the pilot became disoriented in the fog and crashed in Calabasas. My life will never be the same without my husband and daughter. Vanessa's federal lawsuit contends that first responders, including firefighters and sheriff deputies, shared photographs of Kobe's body with a bartender and passed around gratuitous photos of the dead children, parents, and coaches. What type of sick? She contends in the suit that she has experienced severe emotional distress that has compounded the trauma of losing her husband and 13-year-old daughter. And y'all want her... Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's part of this is insane. A lawsuit contends first responders, including firefighters and sheriff deputies, shared photographs of Kobe's body with a bartender and passed around the photos again of the dead parents, the coaches, and the children. Wow, that's sick. The suit claims that deputies circulated the photos among themselves gratuitously and that one displayed a photo on his phone to a bartender at Baja California Bar and Grill, who then loudly proclaimed to the patrician and staff that he just seen an image of Kobe Bryant's body. Los Angeles County contends that while the conduct was inappropriate, showing a photo to one member of the public does not cons constitute invasion of privacy. Oh, my God. The county says that the photos were not shared with the media or posted on the internet. Thus, they were not publicly disseminated. In her deposition, deposition, Vanessa said that she pleaded with the Los Angeles County Sheriff to make sure that no one took photographs from the crash site, and he reassured her the area had been secured. And I don't know. Oh, boy. After Alex Villanueva confirmed her husband, the teen, their teenage daughter, along with seven others, were killed. He asked Vanessa Bryant if she could, if he could do anything for her, and I said, 
If you can't bring my husband and baby back, please make sure that no one takes photographs of them. Please secure the area. Please do that. My, Vanessa said during the deposition, and he said, I will, I will. And I said, no, you need to get on the phone right now, and I need to make sure that you secure the area. Villanueva said, Villanueva, she said, excused himself momentarily and reassured her that the area had been secured when he came back. The message-seeking comments from Villanueva has not been returned. Villanueva said previously um, eight deputies allegedly took and shared graphic photos of the helicopter crash scene, but he ordered them deleted. <sighs> the Los Angeles County is seeking to compel psychiatric evaluation for Vanessa Bryant and others to determine if they truly suffered emotional distress. And if that's part and parcel of how the attorneys do their jargon, okay, I'm with it. But I really do believe that you need to come. You have to have a psychic evaluation for all eight of those officers who stood there and took those freaking pictures of those people, not just Kobe and Gigi. You done took pictures of all of those dead bodies. I think that those officers need a psych evaluation immediately. And I definitely don't trust that they have enough compassion to serve the police department, let alone humanity. What the hell? Okay. Brian's lawyers argue in court filings that the examinations are cruel. While under county contends that the examinations are a routine part of the discovery process. And that's cool because it probably is. It probably is. That's how they do stuff. But just hang in there. Those officers, though, are my main concern. And I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I didn't got. I'm old school. Okay. So I want to know what y'all think. Kobe Bryant um, and, and, and his daughter. To have their bodies, um, because they're the ones that's gonna be worth money, and it may not come out now, but years later we go, we're gonna see that on the smoking gun, one of these sites, and you can directly thank the any one of those eight officers that were involved. Tell me what y'all think. You think I'm reaching? Or do you think Vanessa is absolutely correct that these people are the most cruelest human beings that you could possibly imagine? All right, I'll see you in the next video.